Hi friends, greetings from Anamol Laboratories Private Limited. We are doing a series of common errors in clinical chemistry. In this series, now let's take uric acid. Okay, uric acid. Before we go into the errors, let's see how really uric acid really works. Uric acid, in presence of uricase enzyme, gets converted into hydrogen peroxide and allantoin. Our interest is in the hydrogen peroxide, which gets converted into a red color using peroxidase and chromogen system. Okay, this red color as 510 nanometer is the wavelength of choice for it. Now let's come down to the errors. As usual, again there are three types of errors which are commonly prevalent. Result oriented, reagent oriented and program oriented. Now let's take them one by one. Results oriented, again, three or four possibilities, low results or high results, or sometimes low, sometimes high, which is fluctuating, and unexpected results. This expected is what is the clinician says, and the results are not matching as per that. Apart from this, not much of the result oriented kind of complaints are happening, but in that case, <clears throat> You have to be very careful that while you are doing the test, you must be getting a factor on your analyzer on a day-to-day -day basis. And that factor must be maintained. The moment the factor deviates, there is a possibility of error. And second important issue is when you are running a control serum along with it of any reputed source and the value of that control serum must match to the mean value recommended using the principal methodology of the reagent manufacturer. Okay, if these two things are considered and controlled, the results are more or less dependable and reportable. Re reagent oriented kind of errors which can happen, reagent becomes colored when exposed to high temperature, reagent becomes turbid when it is contaminated, reagent becomes inactive although looking normal but it's not giving any color or reagent is insufficient in volume while you take your 1 ml while doing the test it sucks in the air bubble all these cases most important thing you do is take the reagent out in a clean test tube and watch it against the light observe for any color or tiny particles which will lead to error the best thing is replace this reagent because nothing you can do with that Program oriented, incubation time. And incubation temperature is also important, but the color stability is again important. Every reagent manufacturer gives once the final color stability is. So keep that your incubation time, incubation temperature and color stability is monitored as per the manufacturer's uh, technical insert. While you do the calibration of your instrument, Take care that the value of the lot of multi-cal used by you is entered into the program. Okay, this is important because these values of multi-cals are lot specific. They are manufactured by different different people and different values are there. <coughs> if you use the calibrator or a concentration of a standard which is provided in the kit, then this remains unchanged. But Calibrator values are different every time. Wavelength, ensure that your program is having a 510 nanometer or 546 nanometer, which is of a choice to remove the hemoglobin and bilirubin interferences. But whatever is recommended by the manufacturer is the best choice. And important is sample to reagent ratio. Every manufacturer has given the technical insert sample to reagent ratio, and you must adhere to that or maximum you can do is exactly half of it to maintain that ratio if this ratio is disturbed and your calibration has been done with a different ratio the results are bound to be abnormal if you take care of these parts and try and fix any error which you can or observing in a day to day there is a high possibility that results every time which you do is a reportable one most important again I would like to say is that the thing which you need to control is your factor. 
the moment you control your factor on a day to day basis very high chances of your results being accurate thank you very much for watching and if you like this subscribe to the channel by pressing the bell button thank you very much friends